Hey everybody, I am one Bubba Mike One, which you kind of know that. And I hope you enjoyed today's video. Today's video is, which preference would you have? Country living or city living? I am on my extended selfie stick today, not the gimbal stabilizer. And I'm still under the weather, yes. Uh, my wife is calling it a regular summertime cold. Uh, we pretty much have the same symptoms. Her symptoms is headache, sore throat, coughing every now and then. Mine and stopped up nose. Mine is stopped up nose, coughing, and I've been getting headaches at night. So, uh, we have not done a COVID test. Can't really, really rule that out, but it is what it is. All right, let's get started. Now, before I get started, I've actually lived in the country and in the city a good portion of my life. When I was younger, I lived a good portion of my life in the country and city. And before we bought the house we live in now, we lived in the country. <laughs> yeah, I might get to that after the video is done. But let's talk about the, uh, the pluses and minuses of both. Now, I'm in the country right now, by the way, because I um, can't say where I'm at, and I can't show too much. Um, yeah, I, I just, I cannot do that. And you'll see the place I'm at when the video comes out about Popeye's chicken. Yeah. <laughs> I, I actually made half that video here, and I have to hold off until it actually opens. But anyway, ah. Uh, Let's start off with country, and, and the shots I'm going to be showing, you may see the car in it, because i got to get it out the window. Guys, you may not know this, but right now it is 97 degrees. It's hot. As a matter of fact, I'm walking back <coughs> to the shade. Well, right off the bat, country living, and I'm going to be showing these shots as I'm talking. Country living, you have peace and quiet. You do. You do. Then again, you know the city living may not be as peaceful and as quiet, but you can pretty much go anywhere you need to go. If you need to go get milk, need to get something, you know, like from a Walmart or anything like that. Country living, you cannot. The house we lived in before we bought the house we're in now, <laughs> we was 25 miles from the nearest city. Yeah. Now, let's take with country living. You know, you're living in the country. You don't have to worry about that many cars going up and down your road. No. Uh-uh. As a matter of fact, where I used to live, it was maybe one or two cars going up and down the road a day. That's it. Unlike where I live now, there's one every three seconds. Country living, you don't really have to worry about the crime. Mm -mm. Sometimes you can even leave your doors unlocked and not have to really worry about it. City living, eh, you're going to have to lock them doors. You don't know. You truly don't know. There's all the time a lot of people walking up the sidewalks you've never seen before. And that's speaking for where I live. Now, I'm going to be mixing the country and the city as I'm talking. It's not going to go with my words because I kind of goof that part up. Another thing about country living is you don't have to worry about uh, people coming and trying to sell you a vacuum. <laughs> you don't have to worry about that at all. City? You do. You do. Oh, yeah. Every year in the summertime, I get at least up to three or four different visitors knocking at my door trying to sell me anywhere from a vacuum to meat out of a truck to cleaner solution. Something like that. Country living... Sometimes you get to see the wildlife in the woods. All that Mother Nature provides, or Mother Earth. Yeah, ain't that right, puppy dog? <laughs> okay, I know your name's Kit. Yes, city living, you do have parks and stuff. But there's also a lot of people at these parks and stuff, too. Yeah, just saying. Now, country living... If you ever get snow, you're stranded. Now, uh, where we used to live, 
we pretty much any time we got snow we were stuck because we had a holler we had to drive out of a holler and one time we were stuck um this will happen in the city too we got three feet of snow and it stranded us for a, a week and a half city living especially where i live you have snow plows the road i live on the snow plow uh uh goes up there it's one of the first roads to get hit that's fact you know we get a big snow through the night you can expect we're going to work tomorrow morning the road's been treated and pretty much cleared the best of the best way they could do it and they will keep at it all throughout the day holy smokes did i mention this part the country living the quietness if this is a redo overlook me guys i'm not feeling my best today but the quietness listen nothing city living where i live in the city you're gonna hear cars and trucks going up and down the road all the time yeah the quietness and sometimes the country living if you want the internet and eh, you may not get the best internet you may have slower speeds where we lived in the country it was very slow the internet barely crawled city on the other hand like where i'm at now i have cable my speeds are lightning fast that is a downside to living in the country. You know, uh, some of my friends have mentioned to me, well, Mike, you know, uh, let's say one day you ever did move back to the country. What are you going to do about YouTube with uh, speeds? I was like, well, I'd be giving it up, wouldn't I? You know, <laughs> well, you won't be video. I said, yeah, actually, I will. I just won't be putting it on YouTube. There's a lot I could put on here, and I still may as the video goes on. But yes, I'm going to tell you which one I prefer. Country all the way, guys. That is mine and my wife's preference. And my kids, my daughter, city. My oldest son, city. My youngest son, it doesn't matter to him. Yeah. I do know there's a lot of fallbacks living in the country, but none of that matters to me. You know, going out and getting groceries, I, I don't know if I mentioned that one. You know, even if I got a travel all the miles just get groceries then i get enough to last a week or two but yeah in the city i, I could be at the grocery store in four minutes fact where i live now i could be at walmart four or five minutes one day angie and i are going to move back to the country don't know when this is going to be but we are going to do our damnedest to do it uh either we sell the house we're in now or give it to our children we will move in the country what my dream is live back in the country middle of nowhere maybe own a couple acres of land and live in a very old small farmhouse if it's haunted that'd be even better oh god i would love that but that's been our dream now back to the reason i moved out of the country and moved in the house i'm at now i'm sure you guys are wondering roughly about 20 21 years ago uh, we moved away from the country and moved into the city. Well, we're in the city terms and we're living where we're at now. Uh, the country, we actually did not own that house. We was renting and the house came up that we're living in now and we could not refuse the bargain, guys. We just could not refuse it. And I'm here to tell you the first couple weeks that we lived there, I could not sleep. The sound of the traffic going by drove me freaking absolutely crazy. Where I'm at right now, it's in the country. Man, the residence I'm at is some friends of ours. And we take care of things here when they're on vacation. I have shown videos out here before. Uh, back when I was watching two dogs. And right over yonder here used to be a garden I used to take care of. I've been out here multiple times helping our friends out when they're on vacation but we choose i did get the house on her once before back some years ago but i choose not to do that today and i mean who wouldn't want to live in a country the quietness guys i feel more me when i'm out in nature i feel more me when 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 i see the woods creeks dams lakes ponds nature I feel more me. And yes, 
that was also mentioned by some people I know. Well, mind you, if you move in the country, you got to watch out for snakes. You got, you're going to be, watch out for more bugs. Well, I'm here to tell you something. The years I lived in the country, we might have seen a couple snakes. That's about it, folks. The bugs wasn't that bad. The place I live now, <laughs> oh God, it's loaded with snakes. Loaded with snakes. And yes, a couple of them snakes are copperheads. That's no damn joke. When I was in the country, I seen a, a stripe of snake, which was not poisonous. And I think I might have seen a couple gardeners. Maybe a black snake. Where I'm at now? Oh, no. I've actually been out there mowing my grass where I'm at now and literally hit snakes going over my shoes. It is loaded with snakes. So it doesn't matter where you're at, country or not. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and take out of here. Now I'm going to get these shots of city. I'm going to get these shots of the country. So I can put in this video that you guys already seen. And from there, we're going to head to the dog park. Oh, it's hot. It is hot. I'm trying to debate. Do I give him water now? Yeah, I think we better do water now. So give me a couple days, guys. I will probably do one more video. And until we, you will see another video before we go on vacation. And hopefully through vacation, I will be a lot better. I'm hoping so anyway. Oh, I don't know what this is. I have no idea what it is, but uh, it's a pain in the butt. Uh, the other uh, side effect of what we have is <coughs> makes you tired. Leaves you a, a little bit weak. We didn't do any, uh, this weekend, we didn't do any fishing. And, and, and a little bit is because we're feeling under the weather. But a lot of it has to do with Mother Nature being so stinking hot. Holy. There's a lot that I haven't mentioned in today's video. So please leave me, leave me your preference down below. Would you prefer country or city living? I said earlier, I prefer country. My wife and I do all the way. Let me know down below. Country or city? And if you live in the country now, let me know. If you live in the city now, let me know. Now, there's a lot of points of living in the city that is better than country. Yes, I see that and I know that. But I don't care, neither does Anch. If I got another chance, which hoping one day I will, my ass is back in the country again. That's right. And if it does cost me loading YouTube videos up to YouTube, I will find other ways to make videos and get them out there. Till next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Come on. Let's get out of here. I'm overheated. I'm going to get some water. Get some water in my puppy. And we'll see you soon.